Shalom. Welcome to our Patreon Master Series. Tonight we're going to continue looking at the beginning stages of the preparation of the mind to receive a higher influence, a holy influence. You can go out and get any kind of influence you want very quickly in this world. But a higher holy influence takes preparation. And that's really one of the big distinctions. It's the hard work you do before you attempt to achieve higher knowledge, higher insight, higher wisdom. That hard work of preparation is what makes you perform well in your attempt to get close to the knowledge of God in all situations. Okay, so we're going to learn tonight from Torah Kuf Nun Vav, the first section of Lekuti Moran, Rabbi Nachman. When I first learned this Torah about 25 years ago, I was in. That was it. <laughs> I knew this is where I had to go. When you hear the words, I think you'll, you'll understand. This Torah cuts straight to the heart of exactly what we need to know to start this work, to continue this work, and to never give up. Never give up. Because as long as you don't give up, you win. That's what the Zohar says. Who is the victor in the war? The one who's still standing at the end. And he says, what does standing mean? Standing in prayer. And if I stop praying, that means I've lost. But let's see how this relates to inspiration and meditation. Lev tohor barali Elohim, beruach nachon chadesh b'kirbi. King David said these words about uh, 2,800 years ago. It's a long time. Most people have heard of King David, anybody in the religious world, certainly. And some people have learned about his exploits, about his hard work, about his suffering, about his sacrifices. Most people, of course, know him as the author of the Tehillim. Listen to what Rabbi Nachman says about this. What you speak with God in your own words has an aspect of divine inspiration. 